Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie, and I'm gonna be reacting to Andrew Tate in Cheyenne, I think is her name. Um, I've had some people request this from something called Standout TV. I don't have any experience with these two people. I feel like I've seen him before in a clip I reacted to. Um, and I, I, she looks familiar, but I'm just not sure. So they went on a date. I guess they do kind of like this date series with this woman. And so I'm going to be reacting to this and giving you guys my honest take from a female perspective on the things that they both say. Let's get into it. Because men and women are not the same. We are not the same. You are correct there. Okay. So we agree. No, but I'm not agreeing to people being dishonest, cheaters, liars. He's deluded. Why do you think men and women are different? We carry children, Correct. you know, we nurture, we're, you know, compassionate, emotional beings. Yep. Men are very different. I agree. However, I don't think it's very fair for men to sit with the opinion that it's acceptable for men to cheat. I didn't even say that, but I think if we, as intelligent, logical beings, as you are and as I am, if we agree that men and women are not the same, then our paradigms on how we act, enact in certain regards cannot be seen as the same. So, right? if, but, so if I'm with you, yeah. And I then cheat. That's disgusting. I can't believe you even said that on, on YouTube. You see, you just said that on YouTube. I'm sorry to the world. Please don't listen to this. No, but it happens. No, 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 it doesn't it does. happen. No, People no, no, cheat. no. Please don't say this on YouTube. This is what I don't get. Why did, like, how did cheating come into the conversation? I, I watched the beginning of this, and like I said, I'm just doing clips from it. But why do women automatically go into this cheating? Like, you're telling on yourself that that is your trauma having dealt with a man who has cheated. He wasn't even discussing that. Um, but she's going into cheating and I, I don't get why women just want to go into that. This is what they did with Kevin a lot. Um, uh, when he talked about high value men, uh, exercise options, they, this was like a, a big sticking point for them, even though, you know, even though a lot of women, I'm not saying her, but a lot of these women have no experience with high value men. They don't know they have, they have never dealt in that world. Um, they will automatically go into this cheating thing and i i just it's like it's it's a world view that's very biased towards men um one and two it's not having a fundamental understanding of men of history of of, of just how the world has worked and it's just uh it's just i don't know it's nonsensical to keep going into that you're going to corrupt the youth I'm sorry for her. I'll pray for her. These things can't be said. Women can't do that. It's just Women can't do that. So it's a double standard. It's a double standard. But life is full of double standards. Yeah, but it doesn't mean any, like, listen, regardless with your philosophies and everything that you keep... It's not my philosophy. No, but I'm saying, okay, life is full of double standards. Correct. I understand that. But in a relationship, Correct. it's a partnership. Yes. Right. You and me, we're together. Since when? You know what I'm saying. When you're, when you're trying to build a partnership and a life with someone, yeah. the end goal is you two together. Agreed. So why cheat? I know, I understand where you're coming from. My point is that relationships and life is full of double standards as a whole. A man's gonna pay for everything everywhere you go, right? This is, this is do is a man. Do you agree? No, I do like traditional. Okay, so you agree, so you're traditional, right? So if you wanna talk about traditional, let's talk about tradition. Every single man since the dawn of human time had more than one woman. Every single king, every single emperor, every single sultan, every single conqueror since the dawn of human time had more than one woman. All so one thing, <sighs> I don't think a lot of people understand history. They don't understand um, the history of marriage. They don't understand, you know, what it was set up for and what it means. They talk about it's very romanticized. It's kind of this Disney fantasy. We ride off to the sunset and everything's great. And it's just the man and woman together. Yes, that is an ideal um, in terms of, you know, in modern times, we can't reverse history. We can't go back in time and, 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 and <laughs> we have to adapt to, to modern times. And yes, it is a wonderful idea um, and something to strive for to have that person, you two are together and you build a life together. Um, so I think on that point, I, I what I'm seeing, there's a gap in knowledge that most women have not even tried to understand. Um, one thing I do like about her, she seems very respectful and, and very feminine, in my opinion. So I don't have any criticisms of her in particular, but it's a mindset and having that knowledge, you know, understanding these things, um, not just from a female perspective, not just from the Disney fairy tale perspective, but understanding men, um, how they're wired, biology, and, and, and uh, understanding the history of marriage and not what you want it to be. Now, the one thing I would say about him, he said every single man has always had more than one woman. That is inaccurate, okay? And this is where he actually clarified he most likely, um, it seems like this man would be um, high value in terms of money and, and things like that. He is talking about 
And he clarified kings, emperors, conquerors. Yes, those men had multiple wives. Uh, King Solomon had 300 wives and 700 concubines. I don't know how he ran through them all, y'all. Oh, Lord. But he was also considered the wisest man that ever lived. So, yes, that was true. But this is the issue. Jordan Peterson talks about this. What happened is, is that the no noble men, men, not good looking. OK, these days we're, we talk about chads and all that. That was not the case back then. It was not about what you look like. It was about your uh, your status, your prestige and your money. So these men, emperors, rulers, they had a lot of money, so they were able to to take on as many wives as they wanted to. And a lot of times they can even, you know, if a woman was betrothed to another man, he could actually come in and take her just because of his status. He was, it was a class system. And so what happened is, and Jordan Peterson really dissects this well, is that all the nobility, all the top men were getting all these wives. And what was happening to the less noblemen, the men who were average or below average, in terms of status we're not talking about looks again so what happened is they were left without wives there was there was a huge it was like the rich keep getting richer while the poor just keep getting poorer so though it was would cause think about if all these men don't have wives and they see these few nobility with all the wives and all the beautiful women and, and being able to do that how would that make those men feel well i think you know because we see it on dating apps now the top the top men are getting those women Okay, we're back into that era again. And so what it, what happens, those men were angry. Those men were upset. Those men, they had a biological need to re reproduce. They had sexual needs. They wanted a woman. And so as law, they, they changed the law so that it became one man and one woman so that there was equal distribution across the board for all men. So that would be the only clarification I would give in that. All of them, every single one. Read a history book. Read the Bible. It's all in there. The Quran, all of it. You want to talk about tradition, it's all there. The only reason your mind is different, the only reason you believe differently is because the society, society's come along and told you so. Yeah, but society, we can change. Like the world evolves, things change. The world evolves, yeah, that's right. Now, now, now men can't cut their dicks off and their chicks. You believe in this shit? You got the vaccine? You believe in any of this crap? It's all a lie. I feel like life's the, about choices. Life is about choices, correct. My point is this. If I had a woman, I would decide not to cheat because I decide. However, I would not see my infidelity as nearly anywhere near even 1% as disgusting as female infidelity, because female infidelity dis involves emotion. You will not sleep with a man you don't like. I can sleep with a woman I don't like. It's a completely different thing. I can be head over heels in love with a woman, ready to die for her, ready to take a bullet for her, protect her, give her all the money in the world, make sure she has a beautiful family, a nice big house, all of it, and I'll still f that bitch. Watch me. Why a woman won't do that. So don't lie to me and pretend. Yeah, you no, you won't. Any woman who will sit here and say, I can dudes and not care about them is fundamentally broken. Her soul is broken. Okay, well, she's broken then, but she's still doing it. Well, if she's broken, she ain't anywhere near me. I don't want no broken bitch near me. I'm definitely sure women would cheat on you. You think so? Mm -hmm. Well, those are the kind of women I will not associate with. Females shouldn't even want to cheat. And the reason women can't cheat is because there's no way to ensure paternity if a female's cheating. Modern science in and of itself, just because you can now find out who the dad is, doesn't undo 5,000 years of human evolution in which a female had to be loyal to one man so we knew exactly who the father was. If a man has multiple partners, you know who the mother is, you know who the father is. If a woman has multiple partners, nobody knows who the dad is, nobody wants to look after the kid, and a woman with a child without a father or without a man around in the ancient world was toast. He talks a lot of nothing. I would never ever be with a girl who cheats on me, and I would never yeah, ever. You can't, you can't, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Me. Yes, I no, can. No, you can't. Of course I can. No, you can't. Like, because the thing is, with, like, this is just an assumption. I'm assuming, you know, do you have a nice this life? Is not no, Sorry but I'm not. saying you have a nice life, you live a good lifestyle, women will just see you as an opportunity. If I was, a, if I was a dumbass, yeah, correct. Yeah, but this one said, but your attitude is what keeps a woman also. Like, do you think a high value woman is going to sit there and tolerate a man condescending and talking to her and being like, we're different and we're this, we're that, because we're not. A woman, you... knows her, a woman that knows her worth is not going to tolerate that. As professionals, we discussed the infidelity of females. And I said that female infidelity is more disgusting than male infidelity. And I think that the world agrees with me. History agrees with me, the Bible agrees with me, the Quran agrees with me. Every single book you can read from history says that females who are promiscuous should either be stoned to death or at least cast out from society. Female promiscuity is a brand new concept. This is brand new amongst society. The idea that women can sleep with a bunch of dudes and it doesn't matter is a brand new idea. 30, 40 years old, maybe. Even today, nobody respects it, deep down. When a girl shoots a girl she doesn't like, you know the first thing she does? She says she's a You know why? Because they know deep down that female promiscuity is disgusting, it's revolting. So the whole idea of a female wanting to sleep with more than one man at a time 
is haram. And they know it inside of their souls, inside of their hearts. I don't think so. As yes, they do. As does a man. No. Whereas a man, if he's seen now, I don't know if he is just being extra right now, if this is like his personality or he's just, you know, playing it up for the camera. I mean, obviously this date is not real, but I don't know if this is how he would be on a date and maybe what position he is in life that he can be this way and kind of just this direct and it's entertaining. Okay. But guys, you, the average guy is not going to be able to follow this. And if you start spilling out these points to a woman on a date, for sure, it's going to be a put off to most women. It's going to be a, a put off to the vast majority of women. But again, it depends on, he may be in a status in a place in life where he could do that. But this is, let me try to just kind of translate so women can maybe understand what he's saying with a little bit of a, a feminine, feminine energy. He is absolutely correct in what he's talking about. Um, in terms of uh, female promiscuity in the Bible, they were stoned to death. In fact, there was actually a great harlot uh, mentioned in the Bible where, uh, I mean, there's a lot that happened to her I, with the 12 tri tribes of Benjamin. There's a lot to go into that. I'm not going to get into what happened, but it was a, it, it was seen as something um, to be taken much more seriously than if, if a man was uh, promiscuous. And even the Bible talks about uh, over and over about the promiscuous woman, the harlot. It, it is in, in, in Proverbs, it is over and over. And it, it talks about young men being foolish and it talks about these things, but it never talks about the promiscuity of a man. Why? Because the way we are designed men and women uh, and even research science has shown this having casual sex as a woman is completely different than a man having casual sex. A man is able to, you know, they were designed to spread seed. It's how their bodies are wired. If they commit to one woman and are faithful, that is actually him making, that is a D discipline. That is him reorienting his mind against his biology in order to do that. So that's why commitment, marriage, and those things mean so much when a man gives it to you. So then when, if a woman goes and cheats on that man, for whatever reason, it, it is, we are not designed to be with a whole bunch of different men. And even when he said this about, you know, it's trauma, a woman that is able to hop from D to D from man to man, that is trauma. Those are internal wounds. There is therapy that's needed because it's not natural for a female to act like that. And I know modern feminism tells us to do what we want and we could this, that, and the other, but look at the outcomes. Women are more miserable now today than they've ever been. Women are, you know, you go on TikTok for anything, all these women are, you know, upset that, you know, Chad or whatever dude is ghosting them or not committing to them, or he's doing this, that, and the other. And I know men have their issues as well. I understand this, but we're talking about this specific issue. Infidelity in women is not natural and casual sex is not natural for women. Social sciences, it, it affects our bodies not just mentally does it affect us and our emotions does it affect us, but it affects us biologically because you're receiving something into your body where a man is putting something out and we can get into the details of it, but I think he's correct. I think he is correct in his points, but the way he's talking to her, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it is this is crazy. Uh, but guys, I, I I think this is a good clip. I, I will react some more to this date if you want me to leave a comment below. I agree with his talking points. Um, I understand where she is coming from as well. It can come off as very abrasive. Um, but anyway, leave a comment, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and um I think this guy is funny too, but I, I like I I I think he 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 has a fundamental understanding of 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 what's going on out here. And just like Kevin Samuels, you know, we're out here, we, we can't be poking people with needles. We need to cut the head off with a sword. So there you go. <laughs> Bye.